Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture. So in today's quick tutorial, I wanted to do something like bright and fun and easy and fast. So we're doing little quickies today. So in this tutorial, we're gonna make a leaf motif like you see here with just using three brushes and one layer style. So to start off with, I'm always sampling um, uh, colors from images. So I type in leaf in my unsplash and I make a little screenshot. I liked this one here. So like I said, I don't download them. I just screenshot. I hit command shift and four to just, you know, get my little area there, whatever. And then what I did was open it here in my um, document and I resized it down a little bit smaller because I usually like to, when I'm creating image um, palettes, uh, I like to keep them under 250 for optimal blending. And then I'm going to get started. So let's just hide a couple of these leaves so I have a space to work at. So what I'm going to do is I just, you know, like made a selection over this area. I hit command M, which is my keyboard shortcut for make a new pattern. But, um, if you don't have that, you can go to edit define pattern because we're going to be pulling, uh, those colors from the leaf because why would we make up our own palette when we can just use a photo much easier. So to start off with, I'm just going to draw the base shape using my brushwork brush and, and I use brush number 24, which is a dry brush. So with my brush selected, I'm going to option and just grab like a medium green from my image here and just make like a simple leaf shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, um, 0, 0.00 drawing ability um, involved. So I'm just going to, I made it at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to straighten it up here. Good. Golden. That will be our clipping mask. So then I'm going to make a new layer above it and option and make it turn it into a clipping mask. Now I'm going to grab my pattern stamp tool and I'm going to grab that leafy area that I had selected. So I just actually selected part of it when I was doing that. And I'm going to grab my modern impressionist brush number 14 and I'm just going to look, it's got a cool, like, I like that you can see like a streaky brush stroke. So with on that clipping mask, I'm just going to go, and paint brush strokes like this. I'm gonna paint it at an angle. Very cool. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. So kind of have those directional strokes, which looks pretty cool. So there we go. Bunch of colors, took no effort. Amazing, that's what we're all about. So I'm gonna create another layer mask above that. And now I'm gonna go back to my brush tool my, and this is just a one color brush. And I will sample over here, a light green from in here. And then I'm just going to just kind of, I'll just make my little divider here. That's good, give me a little visual. And I'm just gonna add, using a light pressure, um, I have a, t a pen, but you can uh, change the flow if you're using a mouse. So you could do this with a mouse. You just have to change the flow down. But when I'm using a pen, it has a, uh, the lighter the pressure that I put, the more that I'm gonna see, um, the more I'm gonna see the texture. So these brushes are super versatile. So as you can see here, I'm just adding my own little brush strokes and it makes it, adds a really nice texture, makes it look a little more organic and you know, you got those single brush strokes. So just uh, watch what I do here and playing around with the, some of them are heavy, some of them are light, but that's cool. So now I've got those nice brush strokes and it adds that depth. So that's cool. So now same thing, new layer, make it into a layer mask. Oops, I zoomed in here. And now I'm gonna add one of my 24 karat gold layer styles onto this layer. So. I just grabbed one of the ones that I have handy. They're all a maze. And now I'm gonna do the same without changing my brush. I'm just going to add some streaks of gold in there. Some of them big, some of them lighter. 
and just uh, playing around with my pressure, which gives me different, um, gives me different, you know, thicknesses of my stroke. So that's cool. But now I want to add like a little motif, you know, I want it to look, um, this is like a, like a, maybe a part of a surface pattern or something like that. So I don't want it to look like a real leaf. I mean, that's not fun. So, um, I'm going to grab the starry brush from my, one of my starry collections that I'll link it below, but these are just some nice little motif brushes, just a little repeat of a design. So now I'm just going to, at this angle like this, add some of those, you know, repeating motifs. So that looks super cool. I'm very happy with it. Very fun. So that just gives it a cool look. And then to top it off, I'm going to add one more layer clipping mask, go back to my dry brush, my single color dry brush, brush work, grab a dark green, and I'm just going to put a stroke in the center like I have. Oh, that's too dark. Hold on. Let's grab a dark, put a stroke in the center like you see on my other one. Anyway, I won't worry about it being perfect, but close enough. And then adding another layer above that non-clipping mask, I'm going to grab a mid green, not too dark, not too light. Using my very same brush, I might add some like strokes around it. Actually, I think I'll go a little lighter. So I like, um, there we go. Oh, that's kind of neon. I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so I might just add some, some rough kind of strokes around the side. Maybe take it a little lighter, but I like having that kind of rough edge and yeah, that looks cool. So just play around with it until, you know, you get it right, whatever. But that's it. Now we have made a really cool leaf motif. We could duplicate that and create a surface pattern. We could create a really fun invitation design or I don't know, anything. So um, have fun with that. If you have questions, let me know. And of course, um, I want to say thanks to everybody who's watching my YouTubes. So I will have a, a surprise freebie with this in my um, freebie folder. So you can download it and see what it is. All right. Um, I think that's it. All right. Look forward to the next video.